if you don't know more of God's word today as you did this time last year, then you're going to want to watch today's morning motivation. How's everybody doing this morning? Hope everybody's doing well. And I want to start out with this question today. Do you know more of the Bible right now than you knew at this time last year? Do you know, not only know, do you know and are you applying more of the scriptures to your life today than you did this time last year? If we're not careful, that could be a very convicting thought. You don't have to answer out loud, but uh, really think about that in your heart. Do you know more and are you living more of God's word today than you were at this time last year? And that can be a very convicting thought, you know what I mean? Well, today for our morning motivation, our quote for the day is by Kirk Cameron. And he says, put your nose into the Bible every day. It is your spiritual food. And then share it. Make a vow not to be a lukewarm Christian. I love Kirk Cameron. That's a great quote there. And reminding us and encouraging us to keep our nose in the scriptures. Because I know a lot of times it's easy to get distracted. We have a lot going on in our world today. Uh, we have a lot of media coming at us. And when I say media, I mean Facebook, we got YouTube, we got uh, Netflix, Hulu. I mean, we, there's no end to the amount of hours that we can spend watching media, keeping our eyes glued to a phone. And we got to be careful that we don't get so absorbed into those things that we neglect the most important thing, which is knowing God's word and being in the word daily. But what does God's word say about this? I want to look at Hebrews 5 today and verse 12 to motivate you this morning. And it says this, For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the basic principles of the oracles of God. You need milk, not solid food. For everyone who lives on milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, since he is a child. But solid food is for the mature, for those who have their powers of discernment trained by constant practice to distinguish good from evil. So apparently the writer of Hebrews is writing to them because they had been believers long enough to know enough of God's word and to have applied enough of God's word to their life to be teachers of others. He's not saying that they should have the gift of teaching by now because we do know that there is a spiritual gift of teaching and not everyone should be a formal teacher in the church. But what he's saying is they had come to a point in the spiritual life where they should know enough of God's word to be able to teach the basic principles of Christianity to their friends and family and the unbelievers around them. But what had happened is they had appeared to have gone backwards. Instead of moving forward, and moving on to the meat of God's word, moving on from basic Christianity on to the more deeper things of God. They were basically on milk, like a baby. Though most of us, not most of us, some of you have had children and you know that children graduate up the food chain, so to speak. They go from drinking milk to eating T-bone steak. But what the writer of Hebrews is saying is that by this time, spiritually, these believers should have been on T-bone steak spiritually. They should have applied God's word to their life. They should know God's word enough to teach others, plus to be growing even further in their life. 
And notice this at verse 14. It says, solid, uh, solid food is for the mature, for those who have their powers of discernment trained. Notice, you can have your power of discernment, that is the ability to know right from wrong. You can have that power trained by constant practice. So what he's saying here is that they're knowing right from wrong, that's the powers of discernment trained. And you get trained to know right from wrong, to know how God's word applies in every situation. You get trained in that by constant practice, by reading God's word daily, seeing what God's word says you need to do, seeing what God's word says you need to avoid, and making those corrections in your life. Through daily practice in that, it's how we learn what is right and what is wrong in every given situation. I know our world today, they, they kind of mock at the fact that we always got to ask, what does God's word say? But that is what the Christian needs to ask. What does God's word say about this particular situation? Now, God's word doesn't clearly spell out every single situation. But if you're reading God's word daily, you're learning the principles that God has set forth in his word. And these principles that God has given us can be used to make right decisions. So you're not going to always have uh, thou shall not, uh, let's see, thou shall not smoke a cigarette. You're not going to see that in God's word. But you'll look in God's word and you'll see principles that you can use to answer that situation. Plug any scenario in to that situation and you'll be able to make right decisions based on your knowledge of God's word. So my question to you is, do you know more of God's word? Are you living more of God's word today? than you were at this time last year? If the answer is no, then make some corrections. Because we learn to distinguish between right and wrong through constant training and practice of our skill of discernment. And we learn what God says is right through reading his word. So are you reading God's word every day? And are you applying it to your life? Three action steps today that we can take. Number one, evaluate your current daily interaction with the Bible. Evaluate how you're doing and make the necessary adjustments. Number two, begin, notice this word, applying what you know and learn and share it with others. A lot of times we can use the Bible as an academic exercise. Facts, just give me the facts. The Bible, God wants us to go from facts to application of those facts in our lives. So begin today applying what you know and learn and start sharing it with others. And lastly, Determined to know and practice more of God's word by this time next year. Those are three things you can do right now in this area. I'd like to give you guys motivation to move forward. And I hope that this has challenged you. I always like to give action steps because it's one thing to just sit here and listen to what Josh has to say. But I want you guys to make some action steps. So I take special care to try to give you guys some steps to take, some action to take today. And I want to motivate you to learn God's word, start applying more of it to your life, and begin sharing it with others. Don't be like these believers that the writer of Hebrews is writing to, that they need to be, they should be able to teach other people. But they needed the writer of Hebrews to go back over basic Christian doctrine and basic Christian living. 
Let's not be like them. That's your word for today. I hope that you have a great day today. I hope you stay encouraged. I hope you stay motivated. And I hope that you, as Kurt Cameron said, put your nose in the Bible and learn and live. Well, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow at 830. May the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine on you today. And I'm going to buzz off. <laughs>